In mathematics, specifically in homology theory and algebraic topology, cohomology is a general term for a sequence of abelian groups defined from a cochain complex. That is, cohomology is defined as the abstract study of cochains, co-cycles, and co-boundaries. Cohomology can be viewed as a method of assigning algebraic invariance to a topological space that has a more refined algebraic structure than does. Homology. Cohomology arises from the algebraic dualization of the construction of homology. In less abstract language, cochains in the fundamental sense should assign quantities to the chains of homology theory. From its beginning in topology, the idea became a dominant method in the mathematics of the second half of the 20th century. From the initial idea of homology as a topologically invariant relation on chains, the range of applications of homology and cohomology theories has spread out over geometry and abstract algebra. The terminology tends to mask the fact that in many applications cohomology, a contravariant theory, is more natural than homology. At a basic level this has to do with functions and pullbacks in geometric situations. Given spaces x and y, and some kind of function f on y, for any mapping f, xy composition with f gives rise to a function f o f on x. Cohomology groups often also have a natural product, the cup product, which gives them a ring structure. Because of this feature, cohomology is a stronger invariant than homology, as it can differentiate between certain algebraic objects that homology cannot. Definition In algebraic topology, the cohomology groups for spaces can be defined as follows. Given a topological space X, consider the chain complexes in the definition of singular homology. Here, the CN are the free abelian groups generated by formal linear combinations of the singular n simplices in X and N is the nth boundary operator. Now replace each CN by its dual space C asterisk n minus 1 equals hom, and then by its transpose to obtain the cochain complex then the nth cohomology group with coefficients in G is defined to be cur im and denoted by Hn. The elements of C asterisk n are called singular n cochains with coefficients in G, and the delta n are referred to as the co-boundary operators. Elements of Kerr im are called co-cycles and co-boundaries, respectively. Note that the above definition can be adapted for general chain complexes, and not just the complexes used in singular homology. The study of general cohomology groups was a major motivation for the development of homological algebra, and has since found applications in a wide variety of settings. Given an element phi of C asterisk N1, it follows from the properties of the transpose that as elements of C asterisk N, we can use this fact to relate the cohomology and homology groups as follows. Every element phi of Kerr has a kernel containing the image of N. So we can restrict phi to cur and take the quotient by the image of n to obtain an element h in hom. If phi is also contained in the image of delta n minus 1, then h is 0. So we can take the quotient by cur, and to obtain the homomorphism it can be shown that this map h is surjective, and that we have a short split exact sequence history. Although cohomology is fundamental to modern algebraic topology, its importance was not seen for some 40 years after the development of homology. The concept of dual cell structure, which Henry Poincaré used in his proof of his Poincaré duality theorem, contained the germ of the idea of cohomology, but this was not seen until later. There were various precursors to cohomology in the mid-1920s. W. Alexander and Solomon Lefschetz founded the intersection theory of cycles on manifolds. On an n-dimensional manifold M, a p-cycle and a q-cycle with non-empty intersection will, if in general position, have intersection a cycle. This enables us to define a multiplication of homology classes HP times HQ HP plus Q minus N. Alexander had by 1930 defined a first cochain notion. 
based on AP cochain on a SpaceX having relevance to the small neighborhoods of the diagonal in XP plus 1. In 1931, Georges de Rham related homology and exterior differential forms, proving de Rham's theorem. This result is now understood to be more naturally interpreted in terms of cohomology. In 1934, Lev Pontryagin proved the Pontryagin duality theorem, a result on topological groups. This provided an interpretation of Poincaré duality and Alexander duality in terms of group characters. At a 1935 conference in Moscow, Andrei Kolmogorov and Alexander both introduced cohomology and tried to construct a cohomology product structure. In 1936 Norman Steenrod published a paper constructing Czech cohomology by dualizing Czech homology. From 1936 to 1938, Hassler Whitney and Edouard Czech developed the cup product and cap product and realized that Poincaré duality can be stated in terms of the cap product. Their theory was still limited to finite cell complexes. In 1944, Samuel Ellenberg overcame the technical limitations and gave the modern definition of singular homology and cohomology. In 1945, Ellenberg and Steenrod stated the axioms defining a homology or cohomology theory. In their 1952 book Foundations of Algebraic Topology, they proved that the existing homology and cohomology theories did indeed satisfy their axioms. In 1948 Edwin Spanier, building on work of Alexander and Kolmogorov, developed Alexander Spanier cohomology, cohomology theories. Ellenberg Steenrod theories A cohomology theory is a family of contravariant functors from the category of pairs of topological spaces and continuous functions to the category of abelian groups and group homomorphisms that satisfies the Ellenberg Steenrod axioms. Some cohomology theories in this sense are simplicial cohomology, singular cohomology, de Rham cohomology, Czech cohomology, axioms and generalized cohomology theories. There are various ways to define cohomology groups. These give different answers for some exotic spaces, but there is a large class of spaces on which they all agree. This is most easily understood axiomatically. There is a list of properties known as the Ellenberg-Steenrod axioms, and any two constructions that share those properties will agree at least on all finite CW complexes. For example, one of the axioms is the so-called dimension axiom. If P is a single point, then Hn equals 0 for all n0, and H0 equals Z. We can generalize slightly by allowing an arbitrary abelian group A in dimension 0, but still insisting that the groups in non-zero dimension are trivial. It turns out that there is again an essentially unique system of groups satisfying these axioms, which are denoted by in the common case where each group HK is isomorphic to ZRK for some RK in N, we just have, in general, the relationship between HK and N is only a little more complicated, and is again controlled by the universal coefficient theorem. More significantly, we can drop the dimension axiom altogether. There are a number of different ways to define groups satisfying all the other axioms, including the following the stable homotopy groups, various different flavors of cobordism groups, and so on. The last of these is especially important because of the link with formal group theory via a theorem of Daniel Quillen, various different flavors of K-theory, and so on. Brown-Peterson homology, Morava K-theory, Morava E-theory, and other theories defined using the algebra of formal groups. Various flavors of elliptic homology. These are called generalized homology theories. They carry much richer information than ordinary homology, but are often harder to compute. Their study is tightly linked to stable homotopy. 
A cohemology theory is said to be multiplicative if is a graded ring. Other cohemology theories Theories in a broader sense of cohemology include Andre Quillen cohemology, BRST cohemology, Bonaclavin cohemology, Bounded cohemology, Coherent cohemology, Crystalline cohemology, Cyclic cohemology, Deline cohemology, Dirac cohemology, et al. cohemology. Flat cohemology, Galois cohemology, Gulfand Fux cohemology, Group cohemology, Harrison cohemology, Hochschild cohemology, Intersection cohemology, Covan of homology, Lie algebra cohemology, Local cohemology, Motivic cohemology, Non abelian cohemology, Perverse cohemology, Quantum cohemology, Shaw cohemology, Spencer cohemology, Topological Andre Quillen cohemology, Topological cyclic cohemology, Topological Hochschild cohemology, Gamma cohemology, 